What's up everybody, it's time now to take a look at my package. So today's video is an unboxing and then we're going to be looking at some specs of a microphone and giving it a quick test as well. I've been looking at doing some podcasts for a while and wanting to upgrade some equipment so that the quality of it is much better than what I used to do. Because before I used to just use a GoPro or a single camera and it was okay but the sound quality wasn't great and the picture wasn't great. So one of the first things that I needed was a new microphone and I needed an XLR one so I could plug it into the Zoom H4N. So one of the microphones that I got is this one from Mono. So yeah, just going to unbox it now. Take this off. And there's the microphone there. So this is the EUPM320S. So there's the front of the box. And on the back of the box it's got all the different specs as well about the microphone. Also on the side it's got uh, bits of information. So this microphone has a cardioid polar pattern. It's got a 16mm diaphragm capsule. Comes with a 2.5 meter audio cable, which is an XLR cable, which is great for the Zoom H4N. Just plug it straight in the bottom and it goes from there. Also comes with a shock mount and it also comes with a bomb arm, which I assume is boom arm, but a spelling mistake, so I'll have to look at that. Comes with full metal casing, XLR output, and an ultra low noise circuit design. The microphone also comes with a pop filter, which is great for podcasts, so when you're up close and you're saying you purrs, that'll just cancel it out. So I stated the polar panel was a cardioid. The frequency response is 20 to 18,000 megahertz. The signal to noise ratio is 75 decibels. And also the requirement for phantom power is the 48 volt DC and the three milliamp typical. So you need phantom power to power this mic. So if you're gonna try and plug it directly in your computer, it's not gonna work. What you need is an audio panel or some sort of audio interface that you can plug the XLR in has phantom power, then goes to the computer itself. Like I said earlier with the Zoom H4N and a lot of the other sort of portable audio recorders, you have XLR slots in, especially in the bottom. So just pop it in and you can record with that. Yeah, so we'll get this opened up and have a look further into it. So inside the box comes with the user manual and a little business card so you know how to get in touch with them. On the top of the box here, you have the pop filter and also the windshield. So it'd be nice just to do some tests with that. Sometimes when you're using podcasts and when you're talking to it, if you put the, just the windshield on, that really helps with the popping noise as well. And also you have the pop filter for that. Here's the pop filter. And you can see there, it's got the, the logo on for the mono. And I'm just lifting this off. Then underneath, we have the mic itself here. We have the XLR cable. We have the boom stand shock mount and also the thing to attach it to the table. So here's the shock mount and you put the microphone in here and whenever there's any movement or things like that it sort of eliminates the movement and eliminates the sound coming from the microphone because of that. Also the desk mount for the boom stand. So you mount that to your table and you put the boom arm in there and you put the microphone where you need it. So there's the boom arm and like I said, you attach that to the mount and the microphone goes on here and you can move it wherever you want it. So you spin it around, up, down, further in, further out. And just use this to have full movement of the microphone so you can get it exactly where you need it. And there's the XLR cable. So this is a high grade low noise cable. And as I read earlier, it's 2.5 meters worth of cable. So there's plenty of cable there. So you can have your audio recorder away and have your microphone up close to you. Last but not least, this is the microphone. So it's got quite a nice weight to it. It's in a nice matte black and it's got the mono logo on. You can see there, there's the mono logo and that's the front of the microphone. So when you're setting it up, you need this logo facing towards you so the sound can actually travel into the mic. So yeah, it looks quite nice, nice well built, it's metal, got the XLR input at the bottom. So you just plug the cable in there and go from there. So when you have the microphone and the shock mount, when you want to put them together, you have these little prongs on the shock mount. You just need to push them together like so that opens up a space for the microphone to go in. And you just push the microphone in and then it's secured. You can see there, the microphone's in the shock mount and that keeps it more secure when you're recording. It's very easy to set up with the boom mic as well. So this black bit here, that goes into the mount which goes on the table. And you have the one here with the little screw end. That one there, you can just move it and screw it into here. And that holds the shock mount. And you have the twisty knobs here. So all you do is just tighten them up. So you get it in the position where you want it. Tighten everything up, make sure it's all tight. Then when you have the stand with the boom arm, 
your microphone's secured and it's not going to move anywhere. So the boom arm's really good, especially if you want to make slight adjustments so you can move it forward slightly. And the microphone actually tilts with it as well. So if you need to get it at a specific angle where you're talking, so if someone's down low down here, you can do that. Or if someone's up here, you can just twist it and then it'll do it in that direction. And then, like I said, to connect it to the table mount, just do that. Very simple. And you undo this, attach that to the table, tighten it up, and you're good to go. So then obviously next is your XLR cable, and that just slots in exactly like that, and that goes in your recorder. Then last but not least is the pop filter, and all you do is just connect that to the boom arm with the connection provided, and you can have that in front. So when you're talking in the microphone, then you have the pop filter there, so you can control it, and you're not going to get that whenever you're talking. So that's a quick overview of the microphone. So all that's left now is just to do some tests and see how it performs. So this is just a quick audio test. I've got my Zoom H4n and I've connected it up to the mono microphone. So this audio that you're hearing now is from the microphone itself. So just put the recorder down and I'll just leave that going. So this is me talking at the microphone at a, a nice distance. I'm not, not looking directly at it. I'm just looking at the camera and soft slightly to the right hand side. So this is the volume here. And then if I lean back like this, and I'm still talking to it, that's what the volume sounds like that. And what I can do, I can take the, the windshield. And this is the audio with the windshield on, and this is how it performs with using that. The next thing I can do, I can put up the pop filter. So that's how the audio sounds with that. So that's the pop filter and the windshield. I take the windshield off and just have the pop filter and this is the audio with the pop filter only so yeah that's testing the audio with the microphone and like i said i got this for podcasts so i'm hoping it'll be quite good with the audio especially coupled in with the zoom h4n because i can just record it directly on and it's got two xlr inputs so if this sounds good i'll just get another one then i'm sorted with the two microphones so that's the sound test over Hope you enjoyed that unboxing and a little quick review of it. The review is quite limited because I've just got the microphone and just put it through the initial tests that I normally do with it. So of course I'm going to be using this in the field and use it on podcasts and things like that. So I'm not going to do another video in the future with a much better review of it so that I've used it over time to see where the likes, dislikes, positives and negatives are. But at the moment for the build quality, quality of the microphone itself, and everything else, the, the price that you pay for it is just an absolute steal. So if you're in the game looking for a cheap XLR microphone, then I definitely recommend this. When I'm on the Mac and I'm doing Zoom calls and recording content of me recording a screen, that sort of thing, the microphone that I use is a USB microphone, which plugs directly into the Mac itself, and that's a Samsung microphone. Really, really happy with that, really over the moon with that. If you want to upgrade from a USB to an XLR cable, then I think this is a great first step to do it. On the market, there is other microphones which you can get. However, in this price bracket, you're going to be stumped to find something which is equally as good or better than this microphone to get. Mono themselves and other brands, they have bigger microphones and better microphones, which is more expensive. So if you want to take the leap up to a higher price bracket, then you can look at those microphones. But if you're just starting out and you want a microphone so you can plug it in, get away with it and start recording stuff, then this is for you. Hope you enjoyed the unboxing and I'm still in the process of sorting out backdrops and stuff like that. So as you can see on one of the other previous videos, this was slightly different. I used to use it on the other wall, which was on the TV and sort of have the screen behind and all the LED stuff. But since recently getting this city, I've decided that this is a bit more comfier and laid back. So I'm gonna start using this. And of course I moved over all the neon lights. I'm still waiting for a new extension lead, which is a black one. And I'm still not sure about to do about this cables just to hide them, but if I'm just using the, the one light, it's a bit boring. So the background's a bit more interesting, so we'll see how it goes. No me, I'll probably end up changing it again, but who knows. So yeah, hope to do more unboxings very soon. Got loads of new tech stuff, so look and try that out and put up the reviews on YouTube. If you're into photography or videography and these videos are helpful with you, please give the channel a subscribe. It'd be great to have you on. Leave a comment below as well, what you thought of the video, what you think of the microphone. And I'm looking forward to doing more behind the scenes video shoots and photo shoots of different things that I do for clients and for personal work. So until next time, see ya.